be an amazing show. I can already tell you. I can already tell you. Simona and uh, her and I have been having a great time in the green room. We've already been laughing. We've already been cracking up. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I'm glad you're here for today's episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Guess what? Obviously, this is a little different backdrop than what you're used to. That's because I'm actually here doing the announcements this morning because I wanted to really share some super cool things with you. So Glenn, the other Glenn that's actually like in the studio live that's going to be joining you, he'll be here in about five minutes. First time watching Hashtag Rise and Grind, I wanna say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Did you know that not only do we have a show Monday through Friday at 5.30 a.m., but we've also got this incredible group of superhumans, over 30,000 deep, man. It's an amazing place filled with motivation, education, and inspiration. So go to riseandgrindgroup.com, join the group, and you'll see what it's all about. Dude, have you signed up for Rise and Grind University yet? I mean, golly, it's like you forgot about it. I know, you, you were gonna sign up, you thought about signing up, but you haven't done it yet. Dude, you gotta hop in there, all right? Rise and Grind University, you can try it out for seven days for free. After that, I think it's like $17 a month or something. It's super, super cheap. But we just added our sales course. So Sales Secrets is in there. We have courses from Michael Cirillo. We've got courses from Kristen on real estate, courses from Shaka Dyson on finance. All of these things are in Rise and Grind University. You gotta go check it out. We're also updating like our interviews. So if you're having a hard time finding some of the interviews we've done, like with Grant Cardone, Elena Cardone, uh, Nicole Arbor, Danelle Delgado, any of those things, you can find those in Rising Grand University also. Hey, I don't know what's been going on in your world. I know there's a lot of crazy things going on this season, but I wanna tell you, I just spent last week in Virginia with Carter Myers Automotive Group, and I spent the week before that in Tampa with Furman Chevrolet, and the auto industry is booming right now. It is absolutely incredible. 800% club members are breaking records all over the nation. So two things, one, if you currently our general manager and owner of a dealership and you would like to become part of a team of champions that are continuing to grow you need to join the 800 percent club also if you've never been in the automotive industry and you're thinking man i'd like to change my life i'd like an opportunity to make whatever type of income i want to make i'd like the opportunity for promotion in a fast-paced exciting environment dude hit me up I'm working with dealers all over the country. I've placed like four or five people just in the last couple weeks into their dream jobs. This is your opportunity. Whether you're in the business now and you wanna make a move or you've never been in before, reach out, I can hook you up. Hey, did you know that we give away free Rise and Grind gear? We do, like Rise and Grind water bottles, bags, t-shirts, we, we give them away free and all we ask is that you follow five simple steps that could absolutely change your life. For real. We're talking about the morning five, the 67 day challenge. If you go to the morning number five.com, you can learn more about it. But basically it's an opportunity for you to get a morning routine in place that will make an extraordinary impact in your life if you can complete it. It's hard. It looks easy on the outside, but I promise you it's not. We've got a bunch of people that have already completed the challenge. We've sent them some free gear. So shout out to those that have completed it. And if you haven't started yet, today's the day. Morning5.com. Check it out. 67 day challenge. Every Friday on Hashtag Rise and Grind, we bring in amazing guests from all over the world to join us on our show live. It's pretty incredible. We get to see them like behind the scenes. They haven't even got their makeup on yet, right? They're like wearing their pajamas. You see all of these A-listers in a way that you've never seen them before. So check out who's coming up in the next couple weeks. So did you know that we have a thing called Hashtag Rise and Grind Offline? Like this is where we go out and we make a difference in the community 
off of the internet. I mean, things from like helping out homeless people, helping out members in our group that are surviving cancer. We've raised money for human sex trafficking. We've gone down and hugged homeless people in downtown Lexington. We've served the Lexington police officers. We've been able to do so many different things offline and it's all because of you and your donations. Right now on the bottom of your screen, you probably see like a little thing that says stars and you're like, what the heck are those stars? Well, that is your opportunity to contribute to the show, which helps us keep Rising Grind live, keeps keep Rising Grind free, and also gives us an opportunity to go offline and make an impact on other people's lives. So go ahead, click on the little stars down there and contribute. We greatly appreciate it. That's it. That's it for the announcements. Are you ready? This week is going to be an incredible series here on Hashtag Rise and Grind. So I'm so happy that you've joined me, whether you're watching live or you're watching on replay. Just know that I love you dearly. Now here's your boy, Glenn Lundy. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host. Glenn Lundy, I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m., and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, a good morning, a good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Oh, my goodness. Today is Friday. That's right. Today is Friday, July 31st. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe it? Friday, July 31st, 2020. And what's crazy is today is the very first and the very last time it'll ever be Friday, July 31st, 2020. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most of this absolutely incredible, incredible day. Man, has anybody been like warm lately? Has it been warm in your part of the country or your part of the world? Because it's been like a little bit hot around here, but we're looking this week at some awesome temps, man. Like low 80s all week. Super excited. It's going to be beautiful. Drop it in the comments, like what type of temperatures you've been dealing with wherever you're at in the country or around the globe. I'd like to see uh, what you're putting up with. So we just started getting a little bit of rain, which I'm excited, but it's been super, super hot. And speaking of like hot, dude, it is about to be fire up in here right here on hashtag rise and grind because today we have my new dear friend Simona Spilak in the uh in the green room she's coming here all the way from Slovenia that's right all the way from Slovenia and I figured I better grab a slide on that because you guys probably don't know where that is but this is where the first lady is from that's right all the way from Slovenia man it's a beautiful place where she lives I'm so excited that she's joining us today I mean we're talking about a country that's got like a castle right there in the middle of the city they have this beautiful beautiful castle so Simona is uh, she's you know coming on as a business strategist she's a turnaround mentor she's a mastermind coach she's also the founder of the BOC Institute one of the founders of the BOC Institute and she's just got a powerful story and some strategies that are going to be really impactful so super excited to have her on the show uh, this morning but first I do want to say thank you uh, to all of you this morning as I sat there this morning writing out my gratitude and goals, I was just really overwhelmed with gratitude for, for you. For those of you that make this group and this show what it is. I mean, if you really look at it, hashtag rise and grind, uh, my 800% club where I work with dealers, all of the high level connections that I've had, including getting to meet uh, this, the awesome Simona here today, um, the friendships that have come from this group and from this show, uh, the stages I've been able to speak on, the relationships with Carter Myers Automotive Group and the uh, Furman Group down in Tampa, Dude, my, my health, like taking care of myself, uh, my deepened spirituality, like all of that. My ability to provide for my family during this crazy season, like it all comes from you. Literally, it all comes from you hitting the share button, 
from you dropping in the comments, from the little encouraging messages that you guys send me behind the scenes every day that keep me going and really encourage me. Like I am just beyond thankful for you. So I wanted to start today off sharing that gratitude that I got to feel and I, and, and I hope you feel it too. So with that said, you know what we got to do around here? We got to do a little dancing. Then we're going to bring in my friend Simona. Actually, we might even might even every once in a while flip over to her. We got to see if she's dancing over there. Is she, is she dancing? You dancing, Simona? There she is. She's like, okay, all right, all right. No, it's like 11.15 for you, isn't it? 11.15, 11.30? 11.30. Yeah, it's a little bit later in the day. For the rest of you, it's 5.30 a.m. And what I want to do this morning as we dance is I want to, for those of you that know and those of you that don't know, this is the part of the show. Where I need you to hit that share button. That's right, I need you to hit that share button because I believe if we can change the way people start their day, it'll make a massive impact on this planet. I truly believe that. And sometimes all it takes to change the way somebody starts their day is for you to hit that share button. This is also the part of the show where I want to say good morning to you and I want you to say good morning to me. What I want to do today is I want to say good morning to some of you that watch on replay consistently. I see you all the time. You're not on live, but you are on replay. So I want to say good morning to Krista Bug. How you doing? Tracy Sanchez, Carol Feely, Larry Molinux. We've got Megan DiMartino, Vinny Profali. How you doing? Heather Jackson, Judy Tebow is up on here every day. How you doing? Houston Turn Time. We've got Leanne Lancaster Brooks, Pam Woolley. We've got Vanji Torres, Sharon Falk, Harlan Bauer, Cindy Levert, Becky Buckholtz, Jim Royal, Christine Baird, Joel Tomlinson, Michael Mills. Listen, if you haven't heard your name in a while, you might want to announce yourself. Next time you're on the replay, you might want to watch yourself. What's up, Sharon Falk? Great to see you this morning. Man, we've had a powerful week here on Hashtag Rise and Grind. We've been talking about this whole 10x, right? The 10x rule by Grant Cardone and how we can apply that in our life. It's been fire. And without further ado, let's wrap it up with my dear friend Simona here on Hashtag Rise and Grind. Mona, welcome to the show. How are you hey, this morning? Hey, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about all that? Right? <laughs> great way to start the day, right? 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 Yeah, perfect. One. And that your video. What an honor to be in such a company of the guys of you. And you are incredible, really. Thanks oh, a lot for inviting me. <laughs> you're so kind. You're so kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so glad you're here all the way. So how close, let's just start off on like, how close are you to this thing? How close are you to this castle right here? You know, that, that's Ljubljana. That's the capital city of Slovenia. And okay. Ljubljana, it's really small. Uh, we okay. have like 800,000 inhabitants. So I, from the castle, I live like seven minutes with a car, six minutes. Or so, so. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's, it's really Slovenia and Ljubljana, it, it's such a small and cozy country and city. And for us, traveling for 20 minutes to work, it's already like, oh, do we really have to do it? I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> it's so really. small that if you have to go 20 minutes, that's a it burden, is, it is. right? And Slovenia has only 2 million inhabitants, so it's like a small village somewhere in the middle of the U.S., maybe. <laughs> Two, how many people? 2 million people only. So 2 a million? Bit. Yeah, all together. All, all in one country. little tiny spot. That's <laughs> amazing. So you're six, seven minutes from there. So who lives in that thing? Does anybody live in the castle? 
No, actually, it's uh, like a visitor's castle, and there are quite a few of them in Slovenia. So that one is in Ljubljana, in the city center. And um, it's like visitor's place with a few restaurants and uh, like uh, exhibition places and so on. And it's very popular. So if we check at the list what to do in Ljubljana, the castle is one of them really to visit because then you have that whole overview of the city and you can see everything there like gotcha. until the end of the city so it's really great but it's small as i said <laughs> well as as you can tell we're fascinated with the idea of a castle over here in the u.s we have one <laughs> we have one castle that i know of and it's actually fairly close to me it's in versailles kentucky uh -huh. and it's a castle that a guy built for the love of his life he wanted to build her a castle over here and then i don't remember either he died or she died before it got completed and so now it's like that it's a visitor center that's mm -hmm. kind of a re it's got restaurants and, and yeah, all, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. all those things but mm -hmm. we're fascinated mm -hmm. by those things but right you now. know the slovenia uh, sits in the middle of uh, between uh, austria and italy and we were part of the austrian hungarian monarchy and that, that's where it comes from. So it's a long history of uh, like 14, 15 centuries. And then there are the castles from in a lot of cities in Slovenia, gotcha. actually. In gotcha. Ljubljana, Celia, Maribor. So we have them all around. But that's that part of the Europe, which is really close to Italy and France. And then, you know, the, uh, the kings and the uh, queens who wanted to have their great, great uh, uh, <laughs> rooms and places to live in. Right. So. But on the other hand, it's, it was uh, as well the, uh, like um, a safe place to live because there were a lot of attacks on mm. that territory. And if you wanted to survive, you have to protect them. So castles were really also a protection thing. Gotcha. If you lived there, you were protecting your family and your sons and um, daughters and so on. So, so yeah. cool, man. So cool. <laughs> the history. And I've always found, um, you know, just people that live outside of the United States, let's just say that, um, they, they, they really have an appreciation for their history, right? Appreciation for history, appreciation for those that come before them, uh, mm -hmm. seem to really study it and understand it. Over here, there's not a, not a whole lot of tradition. We have some traditions over here in, uh, on the eastern side of the country, but it's just really interesting. Well, thank you for sharing that. And mm -hmm. so I want to bring you in. I'm so excited to introduce you to everybody. And for those of you that are watching here this morning on Hashtag Rise and Grind, as you know, the best way that we could possibly honor a guest that chooses to come share this space and this time with us is to connect with them. Connect with, them, connect with Simona today. Reach out to her. Encourage her. Lift her up. Pour into her. Follow her. Do all of those things. This is her <laughs> website. You can check her out over there. And then, of course, of course, make sure you hit that share button because the more people that we can introduce her to, the better. So this is a morning show, as you know. It's a little earlier for us than it is for you. But being a person that works with, uh, you've had a lot of success yourself and you work with a lot of people to help them obtain and reach levels of success in their careers and their businesses and outside of that. How would you say, uh, are you a fan in the morning routine or do you believe having a good solid morning routine uh, is, is important to being successful? Uh, I truly believe it does. But on the other hand, you know, I'm a firm believer in uh, your own personal energy, whatever it is, either it is a morning routine or is it an evening routine or is it a reading or yoga, whatever during the day you do, I believe you have to find your and fill in the batteries of your core source of energy. And that's my firm belief. And then everything comes out of that, how you fill it or what you do with it really to be there. I believe it's individual and I'm not a fan of like, let's let everybody do the morning routine it's for, because it's nice and because it's working. Maybe it doesn't for me. Mm -hmm. And we are individuals and that's the beauty of the world that we really have our own uh, ways and paths to do it and ways and paths to be satisfied, happy, successful. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm believing in. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love that. And I actually, you know, I agree with you. A hundred percent, you know, obviously mm -hmm. for me, the morning routine is solid and, and I teach the morning routine. I wrote a book on the morning routine. I'm a firm believer in the morning routine, but I, but sometimes people get really confused. They think that I'm saying you have to get up, you know, super early and so on and so forth. But really it's just mm -hmm. taking that time every day to hit the reset button, 
and make sure that you're pouring into yourself, mind, body, and spirit so that you can ultimately evolve and go out and make an impact, right? Mm, I tr that, that's the best thing you could ever say. It's really about coordinating all parts of our life because we are not only we don't have only physical presence but we have as well the spirituality and, and emotional part and the drivers which are either private ones or business wise or connected to our business and it's really important to know what you would really like to do but mm -hmm. i believe on the long term what you want to achieve i'm really a strong believer in that long-term visualization and manifestation and then at the end of the day as you set a date for your dreams you have to really be hard working or really it's about logistics then and you have to work hard what i wanted to say is that set that long-term dream but then every single day it's about something what really uh inspires us and what gives us that strong boost of energy and as you said it might be a morning and evening something during the day where you fill your batteries and where you find that source uh-huh that's what's moving me further and you have to find that and uh I believe that listening to different coaches, consultants, reading books, listening to podcasts is something where we give or where we get the idea. And mm. then you have to choose and pick for yourself. And mm. that's the story which I believe in. <laughs> yeah, I love I love that, right? Like you mm. figure out what is the what is the dream, what is it that I'm chasing here, and then logistically work hard towards it and extract clues from other successful people that are doing what you want to do along the way, mm. right? That's yeah. huge, man. Yeah, yeah. You're As you said in your university promo, uh, you know you have to work hard. It doesn't come like you just lighten up and then everything is fine. Sorry, it's not. If you would like to have that, go to the fortune teller and she will say yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It's really about hard work, yeah. It really and, is. And it really and, is and about the gratitude which you mentioned that's huge mm. really you have to be thankful for the day for our health but, but of course you can be thankful if you really do something for it you have to take care of yourself of your loved ones of your business and everything and at the end of the day it's a combination of love and hard hard work and then i say it's it's that magic which then uh is tra transition it into something what we called uh uh, work-life balance, what we call um, feeling good, loving what you do, being passionate about what you do, but you, sure. you can create a lot of those nice words about it. But at the end of the day, it's really about um, finding what you love and sharing it with those who you really love. Mm, I love that. Finding what you love and sharing it with those that you come in contact with. So, so, so Ona, you speak, you speak four languages. Mm -hmm. Right. You speak four different languages. You have a beautiful name. I love your name. It's absolutely <laughs> beautiful. So what what was life like? You know, you live in, in Slovenia. And, and so what what was life like kind of growing up, you know, for you over mm -hmm. in that side of the world? Um, no, I don't. I start with Slovenia being a part of ex Yugoslavia. So Slovenia was one of the six countries of uh, ex-Yugoslavia and we had Tito who was our uh, uh, president of Yugoslavia and he was very well connected with all the uh, global uh, leaders at that time. So it started after the Second World War and then uh, he uh, lived until uh, 1984. And then uh, Yugoslavia fell apart and now we have uh, uh, individual countries like Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Serbia. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, um, my actually um, as i was growing up i was growing up, you know, up in yugoslavia so there was it, where it comes from that i do speak croatian and serbian besides slovenian because mm -hmm. we were living in that country uh, but on the other hand uh, what happened there we had a war here in the balkans uh, luckily whatever the luck name was in that time slovenia was not affected by it so we became an independent country very quickly supported as well by us at that time so thank you very much again <laughs> and uh no, since then since 1990 slovenia is the independent country and uh we are like that uh, central central european country very small one and uh mm, living here what 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 actually is impacting everybody here is that we have a public educational system 
so you do not pay for your education also for the faculty and university uh, except of uh, if you do if you do your phd uh, and that's a um, huge booster of a lot of young people going to finish their education finishing university and uh, on the other hand what is interesting with slovenia is that being from a small country as a person you do learn uh, at least two foreign languages because it's a must otherwise nobody understands you that's the first one the second one is coming from a small country you very quickly learn how to adapt to different cultures to different economies you learn a lot and you are curious uh, how really to develop and position yourself uh, from that small country in a bigger world Mm. For example, how to position um, I, my, um, at least my path was how to position myself uh, from a small country in a bigger corporation, like in pharmaceuticals where I was working. Uh, so it's more, uh, more about that. How, uh, how much can you do with the small what you have? Yeah. And then this becomes the essence uh, of your life. And yeah. so in, on, the other, on the other hand, it's really peaceful here. And it's um, it's clean, and uh, if they do have uh, a kind of uh, um, uh, some uh, struggles or so, then we have it with politics, which is anywhere, everywhere. Some of us sure. we do agree or they don't agree, and then. Yeah, uh, but sure. I believe it's as well good for the development. You always have to have an opposite opinion as well, mm -hmm. because that creates the opportunity for development. Otherwise, we are all thinking the same, and then. Where is the development coming from? You have yeah. to challenge either ourselves or challenge others in the positive way. There of course. has to be an opposite opinion in order for us to challenge ourselves and grow. <laughs> I love that, man. <laughs> People having an opposite opinion either mm -hmm. will help you learn that side or help you learn why you believe on your side, right? Like even more, it can help you exactly. root into that uh, that thought process. That's awesome. So you work with exactly. a lot of people in business and careers. Uh, that's your jam, that's your expertise. Obviously there's a lot of things that are going on in the world right now. So what would you say is like the strategy right now? Like what's, what's the best thing mm. that a business owner or an entrepreneur or somebody in their career, what's the best thing they could be doing right now in today's climate? Mm. So the, there are usually there are let's say two paths which um, they determine and as well my clients. The one is either you are getting a promotion or because now the environment changed you are getting a completely new position. So what's required, let's say incorporate or in as you, if you're working in a big company or you have a big company or, of yourself, it's to be able to learn new skills and new competences because it's, an, it's a new world mm -hmm. and the digital and the rest, mm -hmm. that's the key priority. And also for senior leaders, they have to uh, change their mindset or they have to really learn something new to be able to lead the company, to diversify the business or to lead it com to a completely new track. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, with the entrepreneurs, what I see is uh, with them, it's about setting up the strategy how to grow and scale their business. And that's like, it, I believe it does not change with the crisis or not, because it, it is a challenge which we entrepreneurs always have, because we adjust quicker to the external environment, yeah. but really to find our own uh, structure and also where to focus with the with the business that's where the biggest need is for them and i always say that the best help here is either a business consultant or a mastermind coach who can help them really either give them kick in the ass or just give them a smooth uh, way uh -huh, that could be your path right, so, and right. That's, that's part of my business that's what i do as well so yeah. <laughs> I think that's super important. That's strong. So we either have to be able to learn some new things. We have to evolve, right? In the current mm -hmm. positions that we're in, if we're looking for promotion or exactly. learn how to grow and serve as an entrepreneur right now, more mm -hmm. important than ever that you are experiencing some type of growth, right? Some type of expansion. Uh, this yeah. week we've been talking about, do you know Grant Cardone's book, The 10X Rule? If you no. Know that book? No. So Grant Cardone, uh, he's a over here. He's a he's synonymous with sales, and he wrote this book called The Ten X Rule. That and is a conference you were. That's mentioned. correct. 
Uh -huh. That's right. Yep. And so he wrote this book called The 10X Rule. And basically the overall premise is take your current goals, multiply them times 10, figure out how much activity and energy is going to be required to reach the 10X goal, go after it with that type of intensity and obsession. And if you come up short, you still end up three, five, seven times where you would have been with your 1X goal. And one of the strategies that he talks about in there is you always should be focused on expansion, right? And always mm -hmm. expanding and growing, never detracting, never retreating. Mm -hmm. Would you say that you agree with that thought process as we move forward? Uh, absolutely. And I just translated it in one another uh, similar sentence, which says you always have to shoot for the stars because even though if you miss, you will still land somewhere or shoot high and you will still land among the stars. So right. shoot high, uh, go to the universe and you will still land high, even though that you miss. And I, yeah, I believe it's about focus. You know, if you decide for something, if you spread your energy to too many things, then you will not get that 10 times mm -hmm. growth. Mm -hmm. And it's identifying what's really what you are good at and upgrade that, boost that or create an environment which will even be able to support that growth. Yeah, I love that. So you also believe that concrete stories are the way like to culturally change business, right? And to be able to expand uh, and, and grow. So expand on that a little bit. How important are stories to our growth? Um, story is important because it cre creates, creates an emotional connection to what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And if you have that, then that's so powerful because that's the provider of your energy, grit, passion, driver for every single day to do the job. Mm -hmm. So for me, the story is that great balloon around us, which gives us the boost, the energy, the inspiration that we do the everyday job. If we would say, I want to earn 7,000 or I want to earn 10, uh, 10 million next year. Okay, but how? Let me see with whom I would like to do it, why it is important for me, where I would like to land, who would I be or who will I be as I le reach that 10 million mark. Mm -hmm. And then... And it's about the story. And then as you're really like you have a hard time or you don't succeed, and then there isn't like 3 a.m. in the morning and you don't have the energy anymore, but you still have to finish your Excel or you still have to do the mm -hmm. presentation for whatever yeah. meeting, then you just remember, uh-huh, I remember that I set up that goal and I created that story of this and this and this. And that's for me the power of the story. Yeah. Not only, you know, not only to catch people to listen to you, but for ourselves, if we know how powerful it was or it is for ourselves, then we will be able to translate it for the rest of the people as well. And they will succeed. Mm, I think that you are spot on. <laughs> I mean, the, the emotion, right? Like it's all about emotion, passion. Mm. You have to be connected to it. There are so many people that try to reach high levels of success doing something they don't really like love to do that they're not passionate about and you can work your tail off for decades and mm. still not find joy or the levels it's it's about emotion and as we're telling our stories as a business as we're telling our stories as entrepreneurs as we're telling our stories uh you know to to the outside world and to ourselves, those stories are really what fuel the growth, the passion, mm -hmm. and the energy. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, Go ahead. It's, 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 it's absolutely true, you know, but usually the interesting thing is that that's how usually the first connection starts with your clients or my, uh, my clients. You know, if they do a breakthrough call, an inspiration call with me, it's about the story. Mm -hmm. And if they... Uh, if I succeed, they, they create a story in that um, short call with me or um, a small talk with me, then that's something which they will take with them. Right. It's not necessary that they will decide, okay, tomorrow I'll run a manor, marathon. It's not about that. It's about them visualizing or maybe having a, or getting an idea, oh, maybe I could because this would either bring me a medal or make me better or 
make me buy new shoes or um, right. I don't know what that you know it's about that really it really is that's that's awesome so why why do why did why did why does everybody need a coach why can't we just go do this on our own we're like all right cool got it i got the story i got my passion i'm ready to rock and roll i'm gonna go out there why do why do, why does everyone need a coach will you pay me for the answer <laughs> <laughs> i love you <laughs> you're awesome you are awesome <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll, I'll structure the answer in two parts. The first one is more the theory, because we know we all develop. We start with the training, then we go to the mentorship, and then as we already have some kind of success, as we already learn something, and we have strong skills and capabilities and competences, then we want to evolve and grow. And mentoring and somebody telling you what to do or uh, sharing how they succeeded, doesn't work anymore because you have to find your inner willingness, inner strength, how you will do it and why you want mm -hmm. to do it. And mm -hmm. that's where the coaching comes in. So m to make it very concrete, coaching is not about, it's not for everybody. It's not, and it's not about to be used in every single step of our development. We already have to build up something or at least start doing something. Mm -hmm. So we, we, really can maximize the use or the cooperation or uh, having a coach. Otherwise, I'd rather choose a mentor, a consultant or a trainer. So for me, there is a big difference with where not everybody is quiet or where maybe not everybody would agree with me. But for me, that's the essence, really. Mm -hmm. If we sell ourselves as a coaches, then let's do the real coaching. It's about people visualizing, expanding their future, mm -hmm. uh, realizing where they want to land, where they want to go, mm -hmm. and then really making the, uh, for them really the area and the really secure space for them to be able to grow business-wise and personal-wise because it's always connected. It is always connected and yeah. that is beautiful. I. I love that. And I love how you point out, like, you've already got to have a little momentum. You've already got to be taking some actions. Yeah. You've already got to be kind of moving and shaking. Yeah. Uh, it's not something, you know, you don't go from, you don't go from the couch to a coach, right? That should be, a, that should be the quote. You Great do one. go Great from one. couch to coach. First, <laughs> you go the couch and go do something. And then the coach is there to continue to inspire and fuel and, and yeah. uh, continue to grow and hold you accountable to that overall dream, that mm -hmm. mission, that passion. Super, super strong. All right, Simona, this show flies by fast and Aww. it is a morning <laughs> show. And therefore we have to be very respectful of people's morning routines. And so what I wanna do is ask you one last question um, and then we'll get you out of here. But before I do, hey, if you haven't done so already, I'm serious, dude, you gotta share this out. You got to tag, you got to follow Simona. You got to do all that, man. There's somebody in your circle. There's somebody in your network. There's somebody that you're attached to that needs this this morning. They need to connect with her, man. This networking thing is real life. We talked about it last week on the series. Your network is your net worth and you never know the human beings that you're going to connect with and the impact that that can have on your future and theirs. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and do that. Make sure you pour into uh, Miss Simona today. Make sure you follow her, encourage her, lift her up the way I know you guys, Rising Grinders, do. And with that said, all right, here we go. I'm going to put you up on a mountain, all right? <laughs> you are on top of a mountain. And it's like that. It's, it's like you're on top of that castle right there, right? And there's the hill and everybody's down there. Everyone's looking up at you. The entire civilization, everyone on the planet is looking at you and they're cheering Simona 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 right they're cheering for you and they walk over and they hand you a mic and you have two minutes two minutes to drop something on them some type of practical application wisdom something that they can apply in their lives today this week this month this year what are you going to tell them hmm. I would just repeat that really network is your ne net worth and I'm firm and true and deep and madly in love believer in that. And on the other hand, if 
you really want to build something or if you want to grow, then please do set a date for your dreams. And as you set the date for your dreams, the rest is logistics and hard work. And I might help you there to uh, grow, scale your business and propel your business and your career to the new heights if you decide to join me with me and go to the journey with me. Mm -hmm. So very welcome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Set the date, set the dream, figure out logistically how we have to get there, work hard, have someone in your corner that's going to hold you accountable and continue to help you paint that vision and evolve into it. Powerful, powerful stuff. Simona, thank you so much. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, really. <laughs> it was great. I love you, really. It, <laughs> anyway, oh, I type you, you uh, tons of messages from now on because we met each other yes. live. <laughs> yes, please, please. <laughs> and please. I'll follow you. So really, if any other chance, of course, we'll stay in touch. And I, you know, so I use you and misuse you for my uh, podcast or YouTube channel yeah. as well. So. <laughs> that would be great, man. I'd be honored. I'd love to be a part of that. Uh, anything we can do. And when the world opens up, I will have to uh, take the family and we'll have to go on a trip out to Slovenia. And uh, do so. yeah, we'll yeah. have to do that. And we'll go visit every place that is within seven minutes of your house. We won't go more than seven <laughs> minutes. I won't make you travel. <laughs> you, know what? you know what? There is a sweet spot of it. I'll pay for the drinks and uh, for the food. So you're right and welcome. <laughs> yes. Perfect. That sounds awesome. But thank you so much. You've been incredible. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to go say bye to the rest of this crew here on hashtag rise and grind. Wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So thankful for that connection. Hope you enjoyed the show today. Man, what a week, right? What a week. It's been absolutely an incredible series. The uh, 10x and 10x in your life, 10x in your dreams, the 10x rule. And then to top it all off, with my new very dear friend Simona. I know her and I are gonna hang out and do lots of things in the future. So listen, I hope you had an amazing season uh, 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 or, or an amazing like trip and journey this week. I hope you learned some things. I hope it made an impact in your life. I know that you've made an impact in mine and I am so thankful for everything that you do. So get out there today, have an amazing day. One of those over the top, phenomenal, incredible days. And if you Wake need up. more videos like this, you can, of course, go to glennlundy.com. If you need some Rise and Grind gear, you need to freshen up your closet, you can also go to rise or go to glennlundy.com. But most importantly, enjoy your weekend. Come back here again at 30 a.m. Monday morning. We're going to do this all over again on hashtag Rise and Grind. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Thank you. Awesome. Man, you were great, really. So I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.